All right, good, good day to you, mates. Um, what I've got here is a um, wing. I'll call it that because what I've done is taken a flat sheet of aluminum and put a bunch of bremicles on it. There's uh, I think four on one side and five, six on the other side. The reason I put the bremicles on there is to make a piece of sheet aluminum into a uh, lift wing. But the whole point of what I'm doing here with this single wing flying around in circles is to get some pumping action. As you can see, if uh, instead of that nylon filament I have running through it, if that was attached to a bearing and that was the shaft in the bearing and the uh, wing was pulling on that shaft, you'd get an up and down motion. Now that up and down motion is pretty darn strong because in order to hold it in place I've got two 40 pound blocks hooked to a fiberglass rod and that string is tied to the end of that fiberglass rod. And when the wind is uh, right, that I'd say six inches, so you can see it twitching there. You know, I can see it twitching. Anyway, I'll try to hold this a little steadier so you can see it twitching. There you can see that fiberglass twitching, and there's only about six inches of it sticking out. And it takes about, oh, 60 pounds of pressure to bend the darn thing from that close. There you can, if I can hold still enough you can see it twitch a little bit. It's not twitching a lot, but if I take that first weight off there, then it flops up and down like crazy. Anyway, there's the whole point of the exercise, was to get some pumping action, but also to show that the bremicles actually do have, again, in another way, do have some abilities. So they've turned that piece of flat aluminum into an aerodynamic shape and one that, uh, with a fairly small amount of wind, um, creates quite a bit of force. Anybody wants a uh, pump to work away in the yard someplace? I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's hitting that uh, retainer with quite some force. <laughs> 